make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mary here at The Good Life with M. I am here with my um, BFF. Sokun. Sokun. Um, you might have seen him in a past vlog. If not, this is one of my, um, actually my best friend as of now. Yeah. 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 She probably won't feel the same tomorrow, but. Yeah, no, right no. Okay, well, like my husband is also my best friend. So I've known Sokun since we were about 12 years old. Um, we met in school. seventh grade. Um, we decided to do this BFF questionnaire because um, Sukun will be moving to Cambodia here soon and I will miss him very much. He is going to be reuniting with his wife. Yeah, uh, you know, I haven't gotten the plane ticket yet, but well, it, you know, as soon as yeah. things die, dies yeah. down a little bit. So what we have here is a best friend questionnaire and we're going to be asking each other about 10 questions. Some of them um, were actually asked by you guys and um, I've compiled everything, whatever made sense, um, and put them kind of in, not, I don't know, in a particular order so it makes sense for you guys. But um, this is gonna be kind of new to Sokun. I only know what the questions are only because I got them, but um, I hope you guys enjoy it uh, because I don't know, we may even learn a few new things about each other. Uh, thing on the list is describe each other in one word and why. Do you mm -hmm. wanna go first or do you, should I? I think you should go first. Okay, so I'm gonna go first because obviously this is my <laughs> channel. What I would say about you is that you are selfless. Oh. And the reason why is because I think you are selfless to a fault. Yeah. Um, because you tend to try and take care of everybody but yourself. And um, which is cool, it's admirable, but sometimes you, you need a little self-care because there's nothing wrong with that. And right now I need a lot of self-care because... I mean, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Just kidding. That's, that's sweet. All right. Selfless, huh? So then I guess... Huh? Your turn for me. Um, one word I would describe Mary. I think since since I've known her, I think it's it's. Uh, I was gonna say artsy, but I think it's more like talent. Uh, she's talented. She's she's got a knack for for singing, design. Uh, she even draws well, surprisingly. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah, that's not even my best work. Oh, see, see what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I apparently I don't know that her talent exceeds whatever level but i usually she's, doodle i don't really draw but yeah, yeah. Uh, you know we know each other for a while but i just we never really got too involved you know uh with each other's like activities interests yeah. yeah so i mean it was it was awesome she's very talented uh thank you yeah and uh, i think when we were younger you know and singing and going to the talent shows and stuff like that uh, together it was not talent shows was it like a uh, yeah talent shows yeah, it was like kinda, assemblies and stuff like that yeah and you know she awes everybody with her voice and her singing ability so i mean not not just only those two that i mentioned i mentioned design as well so but yeah talent talent Ooh. is what comes to mind thank you mm -hmm. yeah. so the second question is what was your first impression of your bestie <laughs> can i go can i go first on that yeah go ahead <laughs> Be brutal. You can ask, you can you can tell the truth. Well, I think when I was younger, uh, I I've, I was very guarded. I would hate everybody equally uh, until they proved me wrong. And uh, that was my <laughs> when we met. We were in uh, homeroom together, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think that was my first impression of her. It was like, oh, look at Sukun just sitting there, just you know, staring and like just not happy. I'm yeah. not happy. I don't, so don't talk to me. You know, let's so. sum it up. He hated me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, with a capital H. Yeah. I didn't do anything, but I, I guess apparently... No, you did. They did. Okay, no, I did, but it was not my fault. Right, right. So, um, yeah, basically I was asked to, uh, or I was told, kind of forced to ask him an inappropriate question. Yeah. I didn't want to do it because the other person said if I didn't do it, she would punch me. <laughs> so I did, and... Yeah, and I it was hate, hate, hate at first sight. Hate, yeah, hate at first sight. Hate at first sight. You know, that's how that's how the best relationships start. Right. So, my first impression of Sukun was that damn, this guy is freaking angry. <laughs> Literally, I would walk in a home a home ec, yeah, not home room, home ec, and he would be sitting there like this with his arms crossed on the table, 
literally scowling at everybody. I'm not even <laughs> like it wasn't even trying to. He wasn't even trying to be cute. Like it was seriously. I was guarded. I was guarded. Guarded, yeah, yes. guarded and yes. more. Yes. So that was what my first impression was of him, and I was, I was honestly just a little bit scared. I didn't even want to approach him, but I don't know how it happened. But I was I just, scared too. That's why I was so guarded. I uh, yeah. So yeah. it's your mo. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I, l let me retract. I mean, I, I think hate is is a harsh word. Uh, um, you know, now that I think back to it, I think I just, I was, again, it was just guarded. And I disliked the fact that anybody would look over my way or want to ask me personal questions without saying, with, you know, I, like, I I feel like there's a way to ease into talking to someone and just being blunt wasn't it for me. <laughs> well, plus, uh, I, I don't know, I sucked. I was an awkward kid and I don't. Well, you know, I, mean, I didn't I, know how to socialize. Takes, apparently. It takes two. It takes it two. Takes two. Yeah. If you grew up together, what's a story from your childhood? What's a funny story from your childhood? You want to go first on that one? Okay. If you guys hear this, we were complete a-holes. This was in homeroom. No, 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 no. Uh, we were TAs, like teacher's assistants, assistants for library. Basically, there was this other kid in our class. About, uh, and I don't, was he? Oh, he was another TA. Yeah. He had the biggest crush on me. DF? Um, yeah, DF. We'll call him <laughs> DF. So he had a, um, like an idol right like a magician or something was it a magician i don't know it was like a magician or like a comedian or something and then and then he found out that he died yeah, okay we yeah. didn't have like internet at the time so i think he, he read it in the yeah, newspaper yeah. and then all of a sudden he, he, like out of nowhere we were just doing our own thing you know like doing the i don't know what they call I them remember. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember. we were like putting the books, books back away. yeah and all of a sudden he just knocks everything over he was like from the, yeah, from the from the table, and then he pounds his fist on the table and starts crying like. Really. I remember, yeah. And there was a Samoan kid that was behind, like some like one of the racks, and he started like he just couldn't stop laughing. He just wasn't out Nobody laughing. Nobody knew what was going on. And Nobody just... knew what was going on, but me and you looked at each other and kept on laughing as well. And I'm like, oh my god, we're jerks. We didn't know what was going on still we, until oh later. God. I mean, it was. I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, even even now, like if if for some reason, like like we're all just quiet, everybody's doing their thing. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're like, ah! <laughs> you know, it's not like we knew he was crying. At least I didn't know. I knew because really? I was literally right behind him, oh. and I just yeah, you're looked jacked. at him like, you know, it was it was crazy. And then I just I, I didn't know how to react, later. and it didn't help that the Samoan kid was laughing really hard. <laughs> and then whenever me and you made eye contact, we yeah. would just start laughing. Yeah, we're and pretty then, messed up. Yeah, so we're pretty messed up. I, I want to tell I, you, do not do that to anybody. That's you know, not right. I mean, in, in all fairness, again, it is us not knowing what the situation was. Yeah. And there was, it was a, re, re, we reacted to his, his reaction. But I think. In the I, wrong way. Well, I know, but again, you know, like we, it took us a minute to figure out why, if that he was actually crying, right? Or you knew right away. I knew right away because I've seen it, but I just never seen yeah, a, kids, a don't, guy. Don't, 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 don't react that way. Yeah, no, I've never <laughs> seen a guy wail like that. Like it was crazy. But yeah. the teacher came in and told us to go away and, and she comforted him. <laughs> And so I think he went to a counselor after that to go over his feelings, but I, Jeez. that was the worst. Oh man, yeah. Do you have another childhood story or was that the same? No, there was like a gutter. <laughs> Do you remember that? Totally. Yeah, yeah. And then you're like, oh my God, somebody died and it's in the gutter. And I was like, what? I was by myself. No, was it? No, I, I was swear not, I was And dying. I was going to pick you guys up. Oh, was that? It was I you was... and your little sisters at the time. And was I was it? like, I called you because this is when we had our little like Nokia phones or like flip phones or yeah, something. Yeah. Or no, they weren't flip phones. They were just like little phones. It was the first phones. And I remember I called you and I was like, oh, oh yeah, my that's God. Right, that's right. Okay. So cool. There's a dead body in the ditch. Yeah. I'm like, why don't you go back and look for me? Sure. I thought like, I can't. I can see his feet. I can yeah. see his body. He's face down. I literally thought it was a dead body. I, was, I don't know why I thought that was the funniest thing. No, and I, I knew sped to your house. It yeah. was like literally like 15, 20 minutes away, but I sped and got there in like 10 minutes. Yeah. And then we come back to check on that spot. Though? And he was standing. Yeah. Yeah. And I, that's why, I think that's why he was I just was looking it. in the sewer because there was like a sewer in there. Yeah. And your sisters, I could tell that your little sister, Kathy, was totally freaked out. Well, I mean, you were, you were kind of freaking out. Well, I know because I was speeding back and she was sitting there really quiet like, oh my God. Yeah. That's so yeah, no, that's a that's a good childhood story. So as you can see, we are idiots. <laughs> no, I think, you know, we were fun. I, we were yeah. fun back then. I, I yeah. feel like I feel like though, yeah, you know, we we make those 
innocent mistakes. I mean, okay, I, I deem it as innocent because we're, we're young, you know? Yeah. Okay, so number four, I think it is. One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. If your friend has a nickname or nicknames, what are they and why? Do you want to go first? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay. I think the, the, only, the only one that really reg like resonates with me is mm -hmm. uh, mom. <laughs> mom? <laughs> mom. And the reason why is because oh, God. I took her okay. to an interview. Yeah. I took her to an interview. And I'm sitting there waiting for her and this lady this is so comes lame. by. Or no, 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 no. Actually, she's the HR lady. Yeah. She actually asked you, right? If I was your son. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, are yeah. you serious? Yeah. You were like 21. Yeah. So so after that, I, I you know, I, I, I was calling you mom. Hey, mommy. Yeah. Mama. No. And there was Mama. another time, but we actually did have kids and I was married at the time. Yeah. And, oh, um, yeah. and we I, had some window blind people or they were uh, giving us quotes on window blinds yeah. or no, no new windows. And you came in because you were visiting. Oh, and that's right. I was... He goes, oh, is this your son? <laughs> and I, I was like, no, that's my friend. <laughs> and you're like, Ashton, that's your brother. <laughs> so I was in a way, I mean, it's kind of cute, but kind of embarrassing to you. Yeah. Because I, mean, I mean, not for me. <laughs> are you sure? Because, dude, yeah, you no, look forever no, 12. Yeah. No, it was embarrassing. Okay, so yeah, so that's your child. No, that's your big name. That's what. So, yeah, that that comes that comes to mind. Okay, so just one, yeah. 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 Okay, so I've got a couple for oh, Sakun. Damn. So Sakun, <laughs> okay, number one, and the only reason why because this totally rolls off your tongue very very easily. I think I know which one it is. Okay, go Sakuna ahead. Matata. Yeah. What a wonderful phrase, right? <laughs> yeah. Sakuna Matata, <laughs> ain't no passing craze. See. Sakuna Matata. Yeah. yeah, exactly, right? So anytime you guys see Sakun, just Sakuna no. Matata. No, no, don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> no, fine. No. Fine. 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 Okay. So then, okay, not Sakuna Matata then. But you do have another. another <laughs> yeah. So Sakun has another uh, nickname. And this is just yeah, like, I, I like to call Sakun this because, yeah, you know, you have some great, yeah. great um, what do you call it? Shorthand, um, <laughs> shorthand skills. I don't know what they call it. Yeah. So I call Sakun Ten Key yeah. because your fingers are. Don't think dirty, guys. Don't I, think dirty. I call Sakun Ten Key because because your fingers are so short. And it looks like you're literally on the calculator, like like this. And you, you guys gotta see it. You guys gotta see it. Like first, first hand, up close and personal. I mean, you know, you respond to it, it's, so it's all good. Well, because I got, I got, you know, keyboarding skills. You know, those numbers. Yeah, it just looks. Yeah, yeah. you're super fast mm -hmm. on the on the keyboard. It's amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, Next question. It's uh, is there anything you don't like to do together? I can go first on that one. Okay. But um, I don't. I don't think there's anything. Oh, there is. I wouldn't want to go to the spa with you guys. <laughs> there, oh there God! Is. I remember that's that invitation. Giving. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. What are you? So the only thing I can think of mm -hmm. is camping. Mm, really? Because I had a really. That oh, was yeah, the yeah, first yeah. and last time. Yeah. Like I honestly had a really bad time. Um, and it's not because of you. Mm -hmm. It's just the whole vibe was not me. Um, it was cold as hell. I mm -hmm. couldn't really sleep. Uh, I'm not necessarily, I don't know, like, I know there's this term called glamping where you kind of camp out in the woods, but in, in like a bougie kind of way. I don't even know if I'd be down for that. I think it's just, um, I think that defeats the purpose of camping, but that's just my personal, that's your personal opinion. Yeah. yeah. But, um, I don't know. I may give it a go again. Mm -hmm. It's just, I did, maybe it was just wrong time, um, and wrong place. Yeah. Who knows? But um, I mean, yeah, I may try it again. I just haven't since, and it's been almost ten years. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say so. Yeah, guys, that's the last time I went camping. So, so how are you gonna come to visit me in Cambodia? Because it's basically like a campground. Dude, it's mm -hmm. like different in Asia though. Because <laughs> no, because <laughs> Cambodia, it's kind of like the Philippines too. It's all pretty yeah. much nature. Yeah, like if you go in the barrios and that's stuff. Okay. Or, right, I don't know what you guys call it back there, but... All right. It's, all called, right. it's called The Village. On to question six. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want me to read it? Yeah. Have you two ever had a fight and why? Okay. I can't answer this, but we've had a couple misunderstandings where we didn't talk for a while. Yeah. But I honestly don't remember why. 
Uh, that's me me neither um but I, in a way that's good though because if we don't remember we're not dwelling on the past yeah i i, I know we we kind of had a uh i want to call it as kind of a separation or or uh what is it called there's another word for it but just kind of we were yeah. apart for a bit and we didn't you know we didn't connect but it wasn't mm -hmm. like the cool thing about us is that when we when we do get back it's like it's it's always the same vibe it's always chill it's like even if we had that disconnect for however many, you know, uh, years, I, I don't think it was too long either. I think it was when you had your child, you were going through some difficult things, but you mm -hmm. know, you were going, uh, you were with Bong and you guys were trying to fi figure out your family life, which- Yeah, we were really young too. Yeah. And just, uh, we didn't, we were trying to figure things out. And, and you know, whatever was going there, I, I respect that. And I think, I think for, for my, my perspective on what, you know, how, how, why we were apart, I, I truly don't know what the reason, but, mm -hmm. but, I think it's just kind of part of part of what what need, needed to happen. I think mm -hmm. in so many ways because when when we did reconnect, it was like nothing happened. You know, like it was just kind of we picked up where we left off. You know, but we still laugh about things and we still talk the same. I mean, it's, it's almost you know. like I mean, all of these years have passed, but we're almost still like those twelve year old kids that are yeah. just <laughs> I mean, you know, and we just like laugh and mess around and I stuff. Know. I mean, some of the so. things. We don't even know why we're laughing, but it's, it's... I know. Like, literally, I'll just look at you and start laughing. Oh, thanks, buddy. Dude, you do the same. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Number seven. Okay. Who's better at talking to people? Uh, I, I think this is the easy question. Or, this is an easy answer. Yeah, answer I'm going to say it's you. I don't think so. Really? Think so? Well, 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 I'm just so... Okay. I'm very... I think it depends on what, what situation we're in. Because if, like, example, when, when I go to the yeah, events... Sure. They, that you hold and i'm going there you know to support you whatnot i don't really talk to people you know what I'm talking okay about? so like if if it's in a if it's in a setting where it's you know people we know i'm i'm more you know social social i'll 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 initiate conversations and, yeah and you know have conversations but i mean have you know just I'm more outgoing but if if it's like it depends on the situation i guess like I, I just feel like community. i feel like with you and new people though it's it's easier for you to um I don't know. You're just a little bit more relaxed. I think maybe because you're good at icebreakers. For me, it's um, I literally close up and I just have RBF the whole night. Not the whole night, but just when you see me, it's, yeah. it seems like I don't want to be there. But honestly, I'm just nervous. See, I don't see um, that. That's and that's you know, really? I'm, I'm I'm pretty close to you, and I don't see that. I think I think maybe, yeah. I I don't know. I, it depends on the situation, and and yeah. you are, for, for me, you know, to me, uh, uh, like. When when this question, you know, when you read it off, I, mm -hmm. I was like, you know, automatically my answer was you. But you know, really? I, yeah, oh. I mean, well, I guess we both, no. we both just think the other person is better at talking. I know for for I me, um, like <laughs> with uh, like especially when I do makeup or anything that I know that I'm good at, yeah, um, I can open up a little bit more, especially if I'm doing like a one on one session with you, yeah. But um, if it's like a group full of people that I don't really know, I, I can't really just be like. Oh hi! What's your name? What do you do? Or I don't know. I just feel like that's such a generic thing, yeah. and it's almost uncomfortable because I feel like when people ask me that, I feel like I'm being sized up. Like, oh, how much money do you make? Type yeah. of thing. Not that they would necessarily ask me that. I almost feel like how you felt when what? I was when when no how I felt when I was in the first time I met you. <laughs> Like, like I'm all tensed up and I'm like, people are going to ask me questions. I really don't okay, care to so answer. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So, but you know, I think, I think, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't see that often. And I think it's might be just your internal, you know, uh, yeah. processing things internally. Yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, you, you come across as a social butterfly and I think a lot of people take a liking, you know, uh, to me naturally. To, correct. And it's, you know, it's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can see why, you know, and so it's, yeah. I think wow, yeah. social butterfly, huh? I never thought uh, of that. I, I mean, different. I think we have our own um, areas where where know, we that's where we're better, better. at. I yeah. guess right. certain situations. Cool. Um, okay. Okay. So the next question is, how much have you changed since uh, knowing each other? I think she's changed quite a bit. Um, Mary's changed quite a bit. I think in a, in, a, in a, she's more maternal. Um, you know, her talent um, is taken off. You know, and now that it's become a career, which is great. Um, you know, and, and the conversations we have, I know we we say that we talk like we're still twelve, but there are you know moments where not moments, but we do have. Uh, There's a time and place. Yeah. When we. Yeah. yeah. And and I appreciate that. 
um, because you know it's it's good to have those levels, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so and you know I think I think that she's become a great parent, um, and I I I can't talk for Vaughn, so <laughs> I won't touch on the wife part. Yeah. But um, I'm amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you are, you are. I'm Here, just but. kidding. Um, yeah. So I mean, yeah, you know, our friendship. I don't want to get too deep into that, but mm -hmm. like I said, it's 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 never it's doesn't really change. It doesn't. Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty solid, steady. So, I mean. Yes, I would. Say. I would agree. Um, I think the thing that I see in you that you've changed a lot. I mean, before I think you cared a lot about what other people thought about you or just thought in general. You I think know, I was more scared. You're yeah. yeah. Um, that's probably what it was. Insecure, I guess. Yeah. But now. I like the fact that you don't give a f you just don't give a flying you know f. I, I do, but it's, do, it's more I mean, like it's selective. It's not yeah. you know I I don't give everybody the world. Like I don't give everybody the right. Uh, like you can literally like, shut yourself off yeah, if yeah. if you don't want to hear a conversation. I wish I could do that, but I think I still worry about what other people think, and like I don't want people to feel uh, like I'm not. I don't care. I mean, yeah. you know I, I want to listen to you. I want to be a good friend, but I, I also. I think that's to a fault for me because I tend to listen too much that it's almost like, okay, so I'll know too much and then they'll get, somebody gets mad at me for knowing certain things. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's really weird. So, yeah. um, it I comes, goes into a vicious, vicious cycle. Yeah. Think, and it, it tends to, to be a little bit more than I would like initially. Yeah. Um, as far as involvement, yeah. um, you know, I try to, I just I don't know. I kind of dig compassion. my. I feel like compassion plays a huge part in that. Uh, you know, yeah. not not to say that I lack, um, you know, a lot, but I I think I've I've cut down on quite a bit. Yeah. Um, just because you know there, I yeah there 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 are just you know things that you you the way you are when you're younger and mm -hmm. and as you grow you you learn that you need to strengthen up a certain spot to be able to get you to where you need to be, and to achieve mental health etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. So yeah. I think you know it's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so the ninth question, which celebrity would you like to do makeup on? Do makeup on. Okay. So that, I think that was more of a question for me, but um, yeah. I think to change it up, I'm going to say what celebrity for you, especially what yeah. celebrity would you like to hang, hang out, out with? with? Okay. I, I, Dead or alive, I think. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Dead or alive. Um, why don't you do the makeup first? Because I have to think about this one. You do? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to say somebody that that's dead, but... Um, what, makeup? Prince, no. <laughs> obviously, I'm not going to do like oh, morgue type okay. makeup. But I'm just saying like if this person were still alive and uh -huh. I got a chance to, you know, uh, do any makeup on her, it would be Princess Diana. Oh, wow. It's only oh. because... Um, I feel like I relate to her in a lot of ways where she's very caring mm -hmm. um, and she... Is she a role model? I feel like point? she was because I think she was a role model for a lot of the women in my family. Um, growing that's, up, that's I sweet. grew up watching her wedding, watching her have Prince William, Prince Harry. Yeah. And then I even like watched her funeral. Like, I totally, I was bawling off oh. of that. So she was an important, um, I guess, person in my eyes. And I think to have gotten the chance to do makeup with her and just have a one-on-one -on -one session, getting to know her thoughts um, and how she dealt with the public and how she dealt with negativity. Um, I think it would have been, I don't know, it would it would have been a- A dream come true, maybe. Dream come true yeah. for sure, so. Cause you sound like you're, you're a big fan, so. Yeah, I mean, and- um, I in the same space and yeah. you know, touch her face, that's cool. Yeah, and you know, like when I touch people's faces, I almost like I feel like I'm like one with them. You know what I mean? I don't know. It sounds corny. Cool <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't know. Because why. like after, I, I swear to God, after I do your face, yeah. like I just touch you. I don't uh -huh. even care. But they let me. Yeah. And it's kind of like it is a personal know, space. You it know? is I a mean, personal that's, space. But they I, I literally let me it. touch them. Like it's not no big deal. Yeah. So um, that's kind of cool with you know doing makeup. So. Yeah. That's cool. Maybe I should get into doing yeah. makeup. Yeah. Yeah learn how to touch people's face with my 10 fingers or what is it <laughs> your 10, ten key, key fingers finger you, <laughs> you gotta be quick on the brushes <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> hey man 10 second what is that makeup <laughs> 10 second makeup oh dang yeah, yeah right <laughs> you come out looking like a clown <laughs> all right i mean <laughs> have question. you thought about your person no, oh yeah, yeah oh yeah answer sorry uh celebrity you know i 
I'm kind of shy to admit this, but who cares? You know, mm -hmm. whatever. I was discovering Blackpink. So they're right, really talented, though. Yeah, and and in in this discovery, obviously, I'm I'm kind of not obviously, but I am still in that little phase of checking out their videos and mm -hmm. their vlogs and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I think uh, it'd be cool to kind of chill out with uh, Blackpink, just watch them be sisters to each other, and I I feel like to watch them it puts me on this whole like like whole positive thought like. You know, I miss that. It brought me back to like, I guess hope is the word. You know, so it's it's mm -hmm. it's it's cool. I I I'd like to. There chill are good relationships out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 No, so I'm, cool. I think watching those girls too. I watched their documentary. Yeah. Um, it's kind of inspiring because you know you don't see a lot of those kind of relationships these days, especially amongst women. Yeah. You know, there's people that always talk about, oh, we should lift each other up, but then those a lot of the t time those are the same people that tear each other down, and yeah. it doesn't make sense. So, but these girls really live up to those words. Yeah, and, you know? and their talent. I mean, I mean, and what they're putting out and sharing with the world is, is mm -hmm. fierce. So why is your why is your friend a great friend? Um, so this is the last question. Okay. I guess <laughs> I'll go first. Okay. Um, we actually did this earlier, but uh, it's not recording. Yeah, it's not recording. So anyway, so so my answer was um, that the reason the reason she's uh, Mary's a great friend to me is that she's she was there for me. Um, she put a roof over my head and her family, you know, uh, helped me. Um, get on my feet and uh, some, you know, some instances where I, I did get a job through her aunt and and things like that. So, yeah. you know, that that resonates with me and it, you know, stays with me here. So, I mean, we were, we were already good friends before that, but that was the that was the stamp, you know, she's she's family, it's, you know, so. You know, blood doesn't necessarily, to me, equate to family because sometimes blood, I mean, they can do you wrong, you know? and you've always been kind of like a long lost sibling i mean i have siblings but like i'm also that... her, her her child so. <laughs> yes yeah my I'm, long I'm, lost. I'm like all of the yeah. family well, you're everything all in one yeah. so i you know even my family considers you as family because they um like you call my aunts aunties i mean even the cousins kind of consider you cousin like a cousin sometimes yeah. everybody knows who you are so um that kind of tells you guys how long we've been connected yeah. um i think when people see us as besties because we don't hang out with each other very often but you know we have our own lives and we understand it yeah there's no bad blood between us we don't i don't get mad if you know sukun can't make it one day yeah it's the understanding part it's mm -hmm. you know i i think it goes uh, what is that phrase that says if you if you if you matter mm -hmm. what does it go if, if you mind it something i yeah i was trying I, to freaking i do that shoot i read quotes just to make myself feel better yeah it, you know sometimes you need validation you sometimes know? yeah certain things can help you and, and quotes have uh, inspirational quotes has always been mm -hmm. helpful for me back you know when i was growing up so yeah yeah but yeah i mean uh, going back to the whole point of you know the, the answer is you know yeah you know her and i we're, we're family i think you know even though even though we're not, we're not, you know, completely like the. Oh yeah, we have so much stuff in common. We do everything together. Blah blah mm -hmm. blah. Mm -hmm. There's there's a connection we have and and a and a bond and, and a support uh, support sure. tiffness that we have for one another. So, and I think, I think yeah, dude, I think it never falters so, yeah. either. Like, um, I don't think I think there's only very few who are very genuine as far as their support and whatever it is I I do. Yeah. Um, because you know there's certain things that I do that don't mesh well with other people's um yeah i i i don't know and it's i've i've lost connection with certain people along the way and it's good it's kind of sad but you know there are people that again where that saying goes those who matter those who mind don't matter yeah those who matter i shouldn't mind yeah so um yeah i, I really like that it is it, i mean it's true so um and i think oh well going back to the question for me as far as like what makes you a great friend um you're no drama dude like seriously like I, and i don't know because i mean it's such it's such a thing like with with other people that i've met um and this doesn't happen with everybody but like many people that i've met you know that they're, they're always talking about oh i don't want this drama in my life but they bring the drama mm -hmm. within and it's like you know you're kind of inviting that into your circle and yeah. um you know, you can't blame anybody else but yourself, really. Yeah. 
So, and I think what I like about you, like I said before, you know how you just kind of like shut things off. Yeah. And I, I think that's all part of it as well. So, which makes you like drama free. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you help me like work through my feelings and stuff, but um, I like that you don't dwell on the stuff that's negative mm -hmm. and that I know that is like, that it's, it's easy for anyone to do. Yeah. And I think that kind of inspires me to think like, okay, well, I just need to move ahead and move past that. So I'm able to look forward because yeah. I don't have honestly, quite frankly, I think nobody or me all as well. Like I don't have that time to like dwell on that crap, you know, yeah. like who cares? And you shouldn't, you know, it, it goes, you know, a lot of a lot of what is put out there that's negative you know it doesn't feed you yeah you know, mm -hmm. and talk and i mean in a literal sense like you can't you can't you a lot of times if you sit on those feelings it doesn't you know you you, you end up not being able to work you end up not being able to 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 sleep well you mm -hmm. know and it's 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 at the end of the day it it you know it doesn't help you at all like to be to to grow into the person you want to be to achieve your goal or even be a a, a good person for your family to be around yeah. You know, and I know this because, you know, I, I go through things and being, living my, the, the life that I live, I, you know, I, I choose to, to have boundaries and, and I think I've gotten better at it, mm -hmm. uh, you know, as, as time goes, but I, I don't, you know, there, I do have a fault, you know, and, and where I, you know, sometimes I do cut things off too quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I feel like, you know, I didn't give the situation a chance or whatever. Like, oh God, I was a jerk. Yeah. My boundaries, my boundary has gotten a lot shorter, I think. Yeah. yeah and i think that just that just goes with age too like yeah. um i'm still i hope so because apparently i still look really young but yeah but apparently yeah. we're we've aged 10 years <laughs> yes that's our little inside joke okay i hope you guys like that video this is us in a nutshell uh, i hope you guys like that video and that you learned a little bit of our about about us about, about us. us uh sorry we've been drinking this i don't know what this is mm. this is like our third this is, glass this is orange juice or apple juice. sure yes adult yeah. apple juice yes um what was i saying okay, I, hope, well, I hope you learned a little bit about, about us about and, uh, us and um that you know it, it inspires you to get together with your best friend and to talk things out because you could learn a few new things about each other but um but this is this is my bestie uh, we've been besties for a while now, so um, you know it's 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 good. It's a good life. You know what I'm <laughs> cheers. Yeah. Cheers, cheers to that. <laughs> um, so yeah, please um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. I will link it down here below, and um, that will notify you of new updates every Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't already, please go ahead and follow me at The Good Life with M. Again, I will tag it here and in the description box below. But yeah, any questions you have or you know comments you want to make, you know, put on the comment line. Yes. Um, yeah. And then I, um, I guess we times. out. So Peace. we'll see you again next week. Yep. Bye. We'll see you next week. Yes. Peace.